A couple of numbers, uh, Michael, that you were looking for. We were chatting about Josh Butler and how good he's been. And of course, we know opening for the Rajasthan Royals. But you were looking for numbers of Butler batting in T20s in India. And mm. we've just pulled those out. And 27 innings, averaging a shade under 50. Strike rate uh, in excess of 155. 10 scores of over 50. That pretty much answers your question in terms of how good he is here. Yeah, he's brilliant. He, he, and England have got it right. Um, you know, when he moved to the top of the order, I, I was, you know, one of many that went, you know, England don't have too many players around five, six and seven that can play the way that Joss Butler can. Uh, but they have lots that can play at the top of the order. But it, it's been a, a, the right move. Um, they want him to face as many balls as possible. They want to give him the chance to uh, win the game opening the batting when he's in that middle of the, uh, of the innings. Sometimes he's not used or um, too much is required by the time he gets in there. He can really affect the game by opening the batting. So, uh, yeah, I, I got that wrong. Um, England have got it right. It's it's been the right move uh, to put uh, Butler at the top and giving him as, as many balls as he possibly can. Just to finish off the whole Butler discussions, I hear from a bowler's point of view. Uh, if you're in that Indian dressing room, or for that matter, Mumbai Indians versus Rajasthan Royals, you've seen Butler in this pink hot form, if I could use that term. Uh, are there ways you can find to tell yourself, okay, strategically we've got to address this guy? Well, strategically, you know, he has he has been getting out bold odd leg before, but that was uh, that's usually early in the innings. So you just hope for that, and you know, and and, and these days with technology, everyone knows that. But uh, but when player is in good form, you know, and then and that phase once once he sees that through, he's 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 a tough man to uh, to, to to contain. You know, he's, he's just got variety of shots, and 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 the way he puts spinners under pressure, I think you know that's. That's like you know breaking the back um, backbone of of Indian bowling because if if you put spinners under pressure, then you have you have no one to go to in the middle overs, you know. So so that is something which has been doing brilliantly, and that's what the numbers are showing. Uh, how many times you've seen overseas players come come to India and convincingly hit sixes, convincingly step out? Because uh, if if someone is stepping out, that means you know you you are reading the ball from the hand, and then and, and that is the most difficult art which which lot of overseas players actually. Don't command, and and Butler Butler has that, and and I think that's one of uh, one of the reasons the 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 way he's been putting uh, putting bowlers under pressure. He's using uh, he's stepping out, and he's using the depth of the crease, and that that makes it very hard for for any bowler to uh, to contain him.